Home theater. Maximize viewing experience in projector. This video will show you how to calibrate the Epson 4010. 4K Pro UHD projector in four picture modes to maximize the user's home theater viewing experience. For 4K, HDR, Dolby Vision, HD, and SDR. Using the post tech method. This calibration may apply to other 4K HDR projectors using the same principles and picture settings. In this video, you will learn how to maximize your viewing experience in your home theater projector in this time of viewing era of HDR. Or you will learn the post tech method. The four image calibration settings, the five current viewing content types. Maximizing viewing experience in HDR and SDR. The difference of new and forced HDR contents. There are four home theater projector picture modes calibration that will be set in the projector's picture memory setting. These are 1. HDR TV 2. 4K or 3D FX 3. HDR Plus Cinema 4. HDR Plus TV This image viewing settings is called the post-tech method. The principle in the post-tech method is derived from the current viewing type of contents available in the market for the home theater. The objective of the post-tech method is to achieve the best or maximum and multiple viewing experience for each viewing type, such as 4K, HDR, Dolby Vision, Remastered HDR, HD, and SDR. In today's current available film content market, the introduction of 4K, HDR and Dolby Vision content have changed, and added the way the viewers view new film contents. Additionally, a lot of old film contents, were remastered in 4K, and HDR, and was re-released in the market. While the HD, and SDR, contents are still in existence. These gave a typical viewer, a lot of type of contents to view, and have multiple viewing experience, in their home theater, using a projector. In the post-tech method, the viewer will oftentimes switch to the four image settings to view the current markets, five content types listed, which can be from a disc or a streaming service. The advantages of the post-tech method is having the maximum viewing experience in each type of content and have the option to view a content from best to viewable option. It also gives the viewer the ability to view a single content in multiple times and have a different viewing experiences. Additionally, viewers in a household with a home theater may have different preferences when watching a content. Later in this video, each picture mode's calibrations use and function will be explained. In this home theater setup, we will use an Epson 4010 4K Pro UHD projector. If using a different projector, apply the same picture calibration principle and modes. An Apple 4K TV will be used as a streaming device for 4K, HDR and Dolby Vision content. And an Onkyo HTR 693AV receiver with 4K and Dolby Atmos will be used. It is recommended to use a projector screen to achieve the objective of the 4 image calibration and quality. Before we begin the calibration of each picture memory settings, here is the brief description of each picture mode. 1. HDR TV picture calibration aims to achieve the same picture quality and HDR of the current 4K TV in a default viewing high dynamic range setting. 2. 4K or 3D FX picture calibration, emphasized, the 4K detail of a 4K content to a near 3D-like effect. 3. HDR plus cinema calibration is the best for watching content that was filmed originally in HDR. This setting achieves the highest possible HDR and Dolby Vision viewing experience. The viewing experience is similar to watching in a real digital cinema, with deep shadows, color saturation, brightness and highlights. 4. HDR plus TV is similar to HDR plus cinema. The difference is the color temperature is set to cool. This setting is used to view HDR or Dolby Vision content to be similar in TV viewing experience. 
Demo videos of the four picture calibration can be found in this channel by subscribing or in the links in the description below. Before calibrating the image setting of the projector, it's better to watch the demo videos in this channel, of each four picture calibration settings, to have a view of the image sample, understanding, and idea of the overall objective, of each four picture calibration setting. It will also help when calibrating other brand of projector or one's equipment specification, other than the Epson 4010 Pro UHD projector, and equipment, used here in the calibration video. Before we begin there are important used terms to know these are. 1. 3DFX. 2. Remastered HDR movies called Forced HDR which are year 2016 and below. 3. New films called New HDR which are year 2017 and up. Used terms to know 1. 3DFX. The best contents to use are 4K or CGI. With the right content the 4K or CGI looks 3D without the use of 3D glasses, especially for new movies with a very sharp resolution image, and with movies filmed with 3D in mind. Or some contents can have some soap opera effect but still maintaining the film look quality. Best result may vary depending on the content's image quality. Use terms to know. 2. Remastered HDR movies, which will be called Forced HDR. These are remastered HDR re-release content that was filmed or originally released in the year 2016 and below. In live-action content, with forced HDR, an over-color saturation, and very dark shadows will result, when it is watched in HDR Plus Cinema or HDR Plus TV, due to not being an original HDR content. Because of this, it is best to watch, live-action forced HDR, in HDR TV setting mode, to have to correct HDR viewing experience. Except, Forced HDR re-release contents, that are 100% CGI movies, such as Pixar CGI movies, will be viewable in HDR Plus Cinema, or HDR Plus TV settings mode, and will have a correct HDR viewing experience. Used terms to know. 3. New films or contents called New HDR, original HDR content that are filmed or released year 2017 and up. Best to watch in HDR Plus Cinema or HDR Plus TV, to have the best result in HDR, or Dolby Vision viewing experience. Viewable in HDR TV and 4K 3DFX settings. Not remastered HDR old content year 2016 and below. Here, is the chart for content, and image settings, for the best viewing experience the viewer, must set, or load the projector's memory image setting, when viewing each type of content, and its corresponding, HDR, or SDR, signal mode, to view the content type, in the best viewing experience. The red circle represents the best viewing experience, for each type of content, and the best result is achieved in terms of, brightness, contrast, details, shadows, highlights, color saturation, and temperature. The optional viewable symbol, represents the type of content, that is still, viewable in the image setting, but the result is average, or not the best be The four image settings are, HDR TV, 4K, or 3DFX, HDR Plus Cinema, and HDR Plus TV. The five content types are, 4K, HDR, Dolby Vision, Year 2017, and up, called New HDR. 4K, HDR, Dolby Vision, Year 2016, and below, for live action con called Forced HDR. 4K, HDR, Dolby Vision, Year 2016, and below, for animated, and 100% CGI, called Forced HDR. 4K, SDR, Ultra HD, that is non-HDR, and HD 1080p, SDR, Note, because it is optional viewable, depending on content, viewing forced HDR live action only, in HDR plus cinema, or plus TV, might result in more noticeable film grain, or unbalanced shadows, and color saturation, depending how old the content is, or how it was filmed. Scene to scene may vary.
that is the reason, it is best to watch, forced HDR, live action, in HDR TV only, to maximize the viewing experience. This will, lessen old film grain, improve 4K resolution, and improve HDR performance, of the remastered forced HDR content. On the other hand, optional viewing, of a new HDR content, in HDR TV setting, will result in the image being more brighter, of a TV mode. Thus, viewing new HDR content, in HDR plus cinema, or HDR plus TV, will give the best, and maximize the viewing experience, of a new HDR, or Dolby Vision, in its true HDR production. Switching HDR, and SDR mode, in the projector. Viewing HDR, or Dolby Vision contents. When using an HDR, or SDR receiver, viewing an HDR, or Dolby Vision contents, set the projector to HDR mode 1. It's important, when viewing HDR, or Dolby Vision contents, which is listed in the post-tech, method chart. The HDR mode, means that, set the projector to HDR mode. In the following, Epson's HDR mode 1 preset, is used as the base HDR mode, for the 4 image calibration settings values, of HDR TV, 4K, 3D FX, HDR plus cinema, and HDR plus TV. The Epson 4010, Pro UHD projectors HDR mode, must be set only, to the preset HDR mode 1. HDR mode 1, is the brightest preset HDR mode. For other projectors, use the brightest HDR mode. Viewing SDR contents, in an HDR, or SDR receiver. Important. In the post-tech method chart, when using, an HDR capable receiver. Set the projector to, HDR mode 1, when viewing an SDR content. If SDR mode is used, and pass through an HDR capable receiver, the image will have an excess brightness. Important. In the post-tech method chart, when using, an SDR receiver. Set the projector to, SDR mode, when viewing SDR content. If HDR mode 1 is used, and pass through, an SDR receiver, the image will have a darker, and oversaturated image. In the Epson 4010 Pro UHD projector, when HDR capable receiver is used, auto dynamic range will default in HDR mode 2, which is darker than HDR mode 1. If an SDR receiver is used, the auto dynamic range will default to SDR mode. That is the reason it is recommended that to manually switch the projector to SDR or HDR mode 1, depending on the viewing content type and the HDR, or SDR receiver used, when the projector is calibrated using the post-tech method. Since we are calibrating the four picture settings for HDR or Dolby Vision mode, we will set the Epson projector in HDR mode. To do this, press menu in the remote control. Select signal. Select advance. Select dynamic range. From the available options, select HDR Mode 1. HDR Mode 1 is the brightest HDR. In the same menu, for color space option, select BT2020 to have a wider range of colors. For HDMI video range, select only normal. To avoid excessive brightness from the settings that will be set here. Before starting picture calibration make sure to set below, streaming device set to 4K and other highest picture settings available for one setup, receiver set to 4K resolution, receiver picture settings are set to default value so as not to conflict with the projector picture settings, HDMI plug into the highest input available in the projector and receiver, use 4K HDMI cables, use one's prescription glasses if needed one. When doing, the 4 image calibration settings, make sure the room, is dark as possible, without any ambient lights, to achieve the objective of each 4 image settings.
before setting the 4 picture settings, it's good to rename the 4 picture memory name into your projector memory settings, if your projector has one. The Epson 4010 projector has 10 picture memory setting slots. When calibrating, in each 4 image setting, such as, HDR TV, 4K 3D FX, HDR Plus Cinema, and HDR Plus TV, it is recommended, to play the matching content type listed, for the best view mode, while entering, or adjusting the values, of the projector. In case, the values needs to be changed according to one's equipment specification, the result, can be seen immediately, in the matching content type. For the 4 image calibration settings, while entering and saving the setting, set the power consumption on, to high, this way, while doing the calibration, and entering values, the setting gets the brightest picture. All image values, in the following, 4 image settings of HDR TV, 4K 3D FX, HDR Plus Cinema, and HDR Plus TV, are based, on power consumption set, to high. Later on, when loading, and using one of the 4 image settings, optionally, the power consumption can be scaled down, from high, to medium, or eco mode, without losing too much brightness, in the original image setting set brightness. All new image values, entered, in the 4 image settings, overwrites, any presets values, in the image, or color mode, of the projector, and specifically, the Epson 4010 projectors, image enhancements, super resolution, and detail enhancement. When adjusting the RGB CMY colors, hue, saturation and brightness, note that a different projector brand, and model may have different default strength for saturation, and brightness if using other brand model projector. In saturation, if the projector default saturation of each color is too strong than the other colors, the saturation of the specific color may need to be decreased to balance it. In the image setting, adjust accordingly, to get the RGB CMY, right balance of saturation, and brightness, of each color. For HDR TV, HDR Plus Cinema, and HDR Plus TV image settings, increase the saturation and brightness, of red, green, blue, and yellow, to achieve higher peak brightness, and at the same time balance the four important colors, so that not one, is dominant of the four. In this example, the new base value of red, is lowered, than the green, blue, and yellow, because in the projector used, the default red saturation is very strong than the other colors. 1 to 4, Image Calibration Picture Memory Setting 1, HDR TV 1, HDR TV Objective Settings 1, to be similar to viewing a 4K HDR TV, 2, Detailed 4K Picture, 3, Brightness of High Dynamic Range TV HDR TV is for watching contents in 1, Most General Content, 2, 4K HDR or Dolby Vision 3. SDR movies and TV, non-HDR. 4. Remastered HDR movies filmed or released 2016 and below. Called Forced HDR. Using other brand model projectors and screen specification may affect the values presented here. When changing values based on one's equipment specification, it is suggested to adjust the value only by increments of 1, plus or minus, until same objective setting is achieved. Play a reference content type, while calibrating, the HDR TV settings, using a remastered 4K, HDR, or Dolby Vision, year 2016, and below, with, live action content, called forced HDR. Set image values for HDR TV. HDR TV. Set color mode to dynamic as the base setting, then change the following. Image setting. Brightness, contrast, color saturation, tint, values. Image sharpness values. Image color temperature, skin tone, customized RGB values. In image, go to image enhancement, then change the values of the super resolution and detail enhancement to the following. This is Epson's pixel shifting feature. Other projector models may have this or not or may vary in terms.
Native 4K projectors might not have this feature. In image, go to advanced, in gamma, do not change it and should default to zero. In RGB CMY, set the following values. All hue are set to default 50. Only the RGB and Y which are the red, blue, green and yellows values shown will change in saturation and brightness. These are the colors that greatly and primarily registers in the viewer's perception when viewing a content. Turn Epson Super White 2 on. This will increase the white contrast. Go to Memory and Save Picture Setting to the renamed HDR TV slot. Picture Memory Setting 2. 4K or 3D FX. 2. 4K 3D FX Objective Settings 1. Highly Detailed 4K Picture Content 2. 3D FX to view 4K content in a 3D effect without the need to use 3D glasses. For Watching Contents 1. Most General Content 2. 4K, HDR or Dolby Vision 3. SDR Movies and TV, Non HDR 4. Remastered HDR movies filmed or released 2016 and below. Called Forced HDR. Using other brand model projectors and screen specification may differ from the values presented here. When changing values based on one's equipment specification, it is suggested to adjust the value only by increments of 1, plus or minus, until same objective setting is achieved. Play a reference content type, while calibrating 4K, 3DFX settings, using a 4K, Ultra HD, SDR or non-HDR, live action, content. A 4K, HDR, or Dolby Vision, year 2017, and up, live action content may also be used. Set image values for, 4K, 3DFX. Set color mode to dynamic as the base setting, then change the following. Image setting. Brightness, contrast, color saturation, tint, values. Image sharpness values. Image color temperature, skin tone, customized RGB values. In image, go to image enhancement, then change the values of the super resolution and detail enhancement to the following. This is Epson's pixel shifting feature. Other projector models may have this or not or may vary in terms. Native 4K projectors might not have this feature. In image, go to advanced, in gamma, do not change it and should default to zero. In RGB CMY, set the following values. All hue are set to default 50. Only the RGB and Y which are the red, blue, green and yellows values shown will change in saturation and brightness. These are the colors that greatly and primarily registers in the viewer's perception when viewing a content. Turn Epson Super White 2 on. This will increase the white contrast. Go to Memory and save the picture setting to the renamed 4K or 3D FX. Picture Memory Setting 3. HDR plus Cinema 3. HDR plus Cinema Objective Settings 1. Best Cinematic 4K, HDR or Dolby Vision Viewing Experience 2. Deep Shadows, High Color Saturation and Bright Highlights 3. Warm Cinematic Colors For Watching Contents 1. 4K HDR or Dolby Vision Only for Filmed or Released 2017 and Up Called New HDR not best to watch. 1. Not best for remastered HDR movies filmed or released 2016 and below. Called forced HDR. 2. Not best for SDR content. Using other brand model projectors and screen specification may affect the values presented here. When changing values based on one's equipment specification, it is suggested to adjust the value only by increments of 1, plus or minus, until same objective setting is achieved. Play a reference content type, while calibrating HDR plus cinema settings, using a 4K, HDR, or Dolby Vision, year 2017, and up, with, live action, called new HDR. Set image values for, HDR plus cinema. Image setting. 
brightness, contrast, color saturation, tint, values. Image sharpness values Image color temperature, skin tone, customized RGB values In image, go to image enhancement, then change the values of the super resolution and detail enhancement to the following. This is Epson's pixel shifting feature. Other projector models may have this or not or may vary in terms. Native 4K projectors might not have this feature. In image, go to advanced. In gamma, do not change it and should default to zero. In RGB CMY, set the following values. All hue are set to default 50. Only the RGB and Y which are the red, blue, green and yellows values shown will change in saturation and brightness. These are the colors that greatly and primarily registers in the viewer's perception when viewing a content. Turn Epson Super White 2 off. This will reduce the white contrast because the image contrast is already high. Go to Memory and Save Picture setting to the renamed HDR Plus Cinema. Picture Memory setting 4. HDR Plus TV. 4. HDR Plus TV Objective Settings 1. Best TV 4K, HDR or Dolby Vision Viewing Experience 2. Deep Shadows, High Color Saturation and Bright Highlights 3. Same as HDR Plus Cinema but with cool cinematic colors. For watching contents 1. 4K HDR or Dolby Vision only for filmed or released 2017 and up. Called new HDR. Not best to watch. 1. Not best for remastered HDR movies filmed or released 2016 and below. Called forced HDR 2. Not best for SDR content. Using other brand model projectors and screen specification may affect the values presented here. When changing values based on one's equipment specification, it is suggested to adjust the value only by increments of 1, plus or minus, until same objective setting is achieved. Play a reference content type, while calibrating the HDR plus TV settings, using a 4K, HDR, or Dolby Vision, year 2017, and up, with, live action content, called new HDR. Set image values for, HDR plus TV. Image setting. Brightness, contrast, color saturation, tint, values. Image sharpness values Image color temperature, skin tone, customized RGB values This time set color temperature to 5 for cooler tones In image, go to image enhancement, then change the values of the super resolution and detail enhancement to the following this is Epson's pixel shifting feature. Other projector models may have this or not or may vary in terms. Native 4K projectors might not have this feature. In image, go to advanced. In gamma, do not change it and should default to zero. In RGB CMY, set the following values. All hue are set to default 50. Only the RGB and Y which are the red, blue, green and yellows values shown will change in saturation and brightness. These are the colors that greatly and primarily registers in the viewer's perception when viewing a content. Turn Epson Super White 2 off. This will reduce the white contrast because the image contrast is already high. Go to Memory and Save Picture setting to the renamed HDR Plus TV. Always play content type with best image setting using the post tech method chart. Like, and subscribe.